Today on My Food Fix, I'm going to show you how to make bacon mac and cheese. So my craving for mac and cheese started a couple weeks ago because Toronto was supposed to host a mac and cheese festival. But as you can see in these pictures, it turned out to be really crowded and really long lineups and everyone was just really mad and cheesed off. Waiting in line for two hours and not being able to get any food and those that did left a huge mess around that area. But since I was not hardcore enough to wait in line, I just made my own. So enough of my rant, let's get started. Here are the ingredients. For my mac and cheese, I added bacon and broccoli, but that's optional. First, lay a few strips of bacon on a baking tray lined with aluminum foil or parchment paper. Then pop that in a 375 oven and bake that for about 20 minutes. Next, boil your macaroni in a large pot for about 10 minutes or until al dente. While that's going, let's make our cheese sauce. So in a saucepan, add 3 tablespoons of butter and let that melt on medium heat. Then we'll add our flour and whisk that in to create a roux. When that's combined, we'll let the flour cook for about 5 minutes and just stir it occasionally to make sure it doesn't burn at the bottom. Next, whisk in 1 cup of cold milk and stir at the same time to make sure no lumps form. And then stir in the other 2 cups of milk. For the herbs and spices, you can choose what you like, but here I have one bay leaf, thyme, and paprika. The paprika also gives your sauce a nice orangey color. Stir to mix well. Again, this is optional, but you can stir in some mustard. Now add one teaspoon of salt and stir to combine. After that simmered for a few minutes, don't forget to remove the bay leaf. Now let's add in some grated sharp cheddar cheese. I just did this in two additions so that it's easier to melt and dissolve into the sauce. Keep a little bit of the cheese so that we can sprinkle it on afterwards. And you can see the sauce get thicker and more yellow as we go along. And now the sauce base is pretty much ready. Now because I had some broccoli in my fridge, I decided to chop that up into little florets and throw that in too. Here it is raw and I'm putting it in the sauce first so that the residual heat from the sauce will cook it a little bit. If you like your broccoli more tender, then you can boil it or blanch it ahead of time. Of course, if you don't like it, you don't have to add it at all. Next, strain your pasta, and we'll add this into the sauce as well. Take out your crispy bacon from the oven and drain the oils on a paper towel. Then just chop it up into bite-sized pieces so that we can mix it in with our macaroni. So just grab a handful or however much you like and stir that in. But make sure to leave a little bit on the side so that you can also sprinkle it on the top. To prepare the breadcrumb topping, place 1 tablespoon of butter on a pan and let that melt. Then 
Then pour in the panko breadcrumbs and we'll let that just absorb the butter and toast lightly. And finally, pour in the mac and cheese into a casserole dish. Then top with the remaining grated cheddar, your panko breadcrumbs, and the remaining bacon. Now just bake it in a 400 degree oven to make the crust golden brown. And here we have it! Mmm, I can't wait to dig in. Mmm, delicious gooey goodness. Thanks again for watching and remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more recipes.